tools. What? What was it? Uh, Pandora Radio, great streaming in the background. That's yeah, that's always that's, a nice uh, feature. This thing was streaming in the background of podcasts for nice. some reason. It was weird. Yeah, we have an iPhone. This gentleman's iPhone. There we go. Thanks again. Yeah. Um, we're comparing the HTC Evo 4G versus the iPhone. We're also going to do this is our review of the HTC Evo 4G. Um, Nicholas, I'm going to edit that part out. I'm going to talk about it. So the uh, Evo 4G, as you can see, is dominated by a 4.3 inch screen. It has a front camera, unlike the 3GS, uh, kickstand for media viewing, an actual replaceable battery and expandable SD card slot. It's locked at probably 16 gigs. Yeah, let's see if pop this back on. Uh, micro USB and HDMI out. 30 pin dock connector, look at that. Gotta got love that 30 pin dock connector. Um, on top we got 3.5 standard headphone jack. Same. Uh, Sleep standby, keys. all that kind of that stuff. Camera. There's an 8 megapixel camera on the HTC Evo. Um, I do believe this is still three. at 3, 3 megapixels yeah. on the 3GS. And this has a dual flash that has no flash. No flash at all. And um, of, of course, this runs 4G, Sprint 4G. It's used the HTC Sense interface, uh, completely open source on Android, mm -hmm. and locked in Apple's Tranquil Garden. Alright, let's, ju let's just stop right there. For now. Alright, uh, Nicholas and I are here with the HTC Evo 4G for AGRS Tech and News, and this is our long belated review of the HTC Evo 4G. Once again guys, I am seriously sorry for not getting this up on the 7th like I promised. Alright now, Nicholas, we all, know, we all know how Nicholas feels, anti-iPhone. Definitely, that is me to a T right there. So let's uh, demonstrate the mobile hotspot feature. So you can see here, I'm turning on the mobile hotspot. Now we're on. We are on 3G. We're in Puyallup, Washington, at Forza, uh, in downtown. Unfortunately, I'm neither of us are getting our 4G connection. I normally do, but we're not getting it right now. 4G is currently in 30 cities in America, but that is slated to expand throughout the year and eventually throughout the history of Sprint. Now, Nicholas is connecting to his Evo hotspot Which now. Which right there, Wiggins Evo. Alright, and to show that this is working. Now, unfortunately, uh, the iPad this. doesn't have any kind of flash support like the HTC Evo does. Flash light on 2.1, and with Froyo, we're going to have the 2.2 uh, and we'll have full flash. Oh, look at that. Uh, look at that. Gotta well, love the iPad, right? The iPad does have a problem with wireless connectivity. I will admit that. Which is why I am anti-Apple. Here, let, let's do this the easy way. I'm going to kill the internet connection I have over at Forza, and I'm going to look for his Evo. No, it, it's, it's working now. It's working. All right, never mind. You got it working. You got it working. All right, so I have a low battery because I haven't charged it all day. But let's load this uh, website that I moderate for. Let's see. It is a pretty heavy page, I will admit. Actually, 3D designs have some very no, heavy pages uh, here. Images is something that's very hard for websites to load uh, quite often, and the hotspot does it, it, it really transfers the 3G connection, which is I've noticed faster than AT&T. It Definitely. transfers it with almost no uh, bitrate loss. And of course, you actually have service pretty much wherever you go, unlike AT&T. Unless, unless we're have, talking like, about 4G, service. in which case you will lose a little bit. But our, that's 30 cities. Our 4G is pretty much like AT&T's 3G, in my opinion. Pretty much, but so, it's still fast. Yeah. So, so it does load web pages well. Let's look over it. Let's look at the actual flashlight support on this device. I'm going to pull up the native internet app. <laughs> we were looking at the Xbox 360 Slim, which came out at E3, I do believe, either this morning or yesterday, depending on when you're watching this video, depending on what time zone you're in. So let's go to a web page that I like to talk about a lot because they bring me endless hours of laughs. Uh, the stickpage.com. And this site is done in all flash. 
You notice I'm on the I'm on the three G connection right now, and it's loading pretty quick. Multi touch, and let's just go pull up uh, stick bites. Yeah, I hope I clipped the right thing. There we go. You notice it's loading a flash video, and there's a little bit of delay. Um, frame rate is 30 seconds. It's uh, 30 FPS. So let's pull up just one of these videos. You notice the uh, capacitive touchscreen, extremely accurate. It's the only touchscreen I've noticed compares and actually beats out the iPhone touchscreen, in my opinion, which, as we all know, brought capacitive to people. There we go. See, and of course, in bar. my opinion, everything's better than Apple, so. Loading bar, there we go. The same stick animation we've already seen. Okay, that was that crap. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, are you logged in onto Fring? Uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and demo the video call with the Fring app. Okay, well, uh, hold on, let's do the camera first. Uh, let's do the Fring right now. Okay, so... All right, now, Fring, you get your normal list of apps, or not apps, but people that are here to, your friends, basically. Of course, I know you don't know all of them, your friends. Um, Nicholas, you logged into your Fring? Uh, I think I am, yeah. All right, so, yeah, these on top, it's normally organized alphabetically, but right now, Nicholas is on top because he's online. Oh, that's a Fring test call. No one cares about them. This was supposed to, I'll do it. See? Okay, we got you. Alright, here we go. What's this video call right now? That's a test call. That's not. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, God. Video call Nicholas, make it easy on us all and call me. Okay. So I am now calling Zephaniah via video call on the front camera. Hmm? That was weird. And there they are. And this is, of course, Tyler Watt being our improvised cameraman. We're over here at Forza. Yeah. There's and as you can see, there's a lot of background noise. This is something I've noticed about the Fring app. When it's playing through the speakerphone, it sounds terrible. You will get audio back, feedback. So use headphones when you do this. It's probably um, just this way because right, so they're so close together. My, my video feed is right here and also right there. Yes. These video feed is right there and right here. Now, this works unlike the iPhone over 3G, 4G, and Wi Fi. The iPhone 4, not 4G, is restricted to video chat or FaceTime over Wi Fi only. And this will work, of course, all over the place. You, Nicholas could be in, uh, I don't know, let's say Moscow. Ca there, Moscow. And if he has a 3G connection, or a Wi-Fi connection, I will be able to talk with him anywhere, anytime. Alright, so let's end this call. It's wasting my battery. My life be like, ooh, ah, yeah, ooh, my life be yeah, like, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, yeah.